Hi, this is Sven Reynold, and I will be making a tutorial, my first tutorial, about how to make a believable transformation. And I am talking about tr uh, transformations that are that that are uh, proportionally correct and they are based on real life models. I've been um, drawing for about a little bit of over 22 years now and everything I was uh, drawing since then uh, is transformations. Um, if you have difficulty to understand me Please be um, gentle with me because I am from Germany and I've uh, I've been learning English for uh, 20 years, <laughs> but not but just 10 of them uh, via school and the rest just um, through video games and dictionary and TV shows. And I'm kind of a little bit nervous for the f for the because this is my first tutorial, and I hope everything will go well. I have uh, prepared everything. I hope this is going to work. So, if you want to make a tutorial uh, uh, transformation, see first mistake already. <laughs> then you need to know what becomes what i'm i don't uh, want to make to, uh, transformations that are like these magical transformations where it just boom some smoke cloud comes up and then the person is suddenly something different i i'd like to have this realistic transformation that makes sense i want to have it um that you know how the body alters so that you can have this uh, believable and logical transition between ob um, subject A and B it, it doesn't matter uh, the easiest way you do it is that you are using vertebrates so um, for example classical human into a werewolf that's the uh, actually the most classic transformation out there that is um, only possible if you know the um, anatomy of a person, of a human and the animal. It's without this knowledge you won't be able to uh, create a believable um, transformation. So I will be using this program here to show you this tutorial. After this tutorial I will make another tutorial because this is going to be a, a little bit longer. Um, this program is called Krita. It's an open source program. Um, currently, vers version 3.13. It's um, you can download it on the website. And I'll be I'll not be using Photoshop because not everyone can get their hands on that license program even if I have Photoshop but actually I I don't like it you don't get as much help as you get when you using open source software so you you may wonder why I'm uh, why I'm making transformations for the past 22 years it's because it's um, it's interesting it's fascinating to see how the human body 
just um, looks like that because the bones and the muscles have certain shapes and the bones and the muscles of uh, animals like dogs, cat, lion, giraffe, um, birds, dinosaurs, dragons, whatever, anything what has bones has these similarities. All skeletons have similar bones. Actually, they have the same bones, just with different shapes. This is the skeleton of a human. You may recognize this from some zombie uh, uh, horror movies. And the most interesting part of a transformation is obviously the head, because we humans are eye animals. Well, eye animals, I don't know if this word exists in, in English, I'm just um, translating that from a German word. I um, know that we are creatures that depend on their eyes, on the vision the most. You have the skull, then the neck, then the chest, the spine, the hip, and the legs, and the arms, and fingers, and everything. So, these bones are the same, all existent in any other vertebrate. And I've sho I'm showing you now the skeleton of a dog. It's not so. We have here the skull, the neck, chest, the hip, everything. See here. Come on. You can. Ugh. You can see the diff uh, the similarities. The there is uh, the eye. Yeah, this is the eye. It's here. Then you have this. I don't know how what how is this um, called in German. I wouldn't have any problem. This is the skull where the brain is in, and this is it. And just um, imagine this form comes out of this form. It's, it's getting smaller and then you have here this elongated snout and here almost nothing. Goes in front. Then you see here how small this is compared to um, the dog. And then you have the upper arm, this is the upper arm. Then the lower arm, and this is the hand and the fingers. And the hip has this form here, and it's just this. This is the tail, <laughs> going here out. And then you have the upper leg, lower leg, foot and toe. And, oh, come on. And, in order to be able to draw a transformation and, it, uh, and to have not uh, it taken too much time, you need to simplify all this. Let's see, it's a little bit too big. So you're just making here kind of making. simple shapes circles, ovals just stress like a, then you this and straight lines and so on 
Easy. It's e easy as that. In these forms, you have you have the human here. Get here. And then you have the chest here. Then the hip here. And those lines. Okay. If you memorize this that you just need to simplify uh, those bodies to these ovals and sticks and points jo joint points then you have it so much easier the only thing you need to know uh, to um, do then is how at least I am doing this to Remember how big is this chest in comparison to this head circle. But this, this, you see, kind of this is two times the height then, uh, of this head, for example. A little bit wider, so 1.25 or 1.5. This is exactly the same size as uh, the, the head but 1.5 this size from uh, from the side view then you need uh, uh, from the um, need it from the front as well and that's enough you don't need the three quarter view just need side view and the front view if it is a human if you have a, an animal then you need three perspectives the side view the front view and the view from above and if there are some um, important changes differences on other sides or you want to know how he looks from above from below then you need respectively additional views but three are um, enough in most cases so knowing um, which of these uh, bones are where and the size of them isn't enough you also need to know how the anatomy of the muscular system looks like here is the muscular system of a dog And here you can find similarities as well. Um, for example, this muscle here. This is the uh, the latissimus. <laughs> this muscle exists. Uh, do we do have this muscle as well? If I open this up, you will see latissimus dorsi here, dorsi. This muscle this is, is exactly the same muscle, and in fact, all those muscles are the same, but, it, uh, but they're just differently shaped. For example, this is this muscle here, is this. This one here is that. Then you have neck, muscle, shoulder, then biceps, shoulder, triceps, yeah. here shoulder, triceps, biceps, the chest muscle, you don't see them, they're here. These muscles have just a different shape because the body has an has a different um, function here's a tail for example as well so these differences are not so big if you know 
which muscle becomes which muscle. Because we are working on two legs, it's not necessary for us that our latissimus is uh, this big, like that. This muscle uh, has the um, job to pull this bone backwards. We, it's uh, rare that we are doing this, except we are pulling something. Or if you're um, going to the gym, then you have um, these muscles bigger because you're doing rows, for example, or um, um, pull-ups. Okay, so let me just see what I have to say now. Mm, okay, so now that you know how you have to build up your form. You just need these. The muscles you just uh, have to imagine them on on that. Or you're making you're drawing the character, you're making a model sheet and this character is has his muscles on, not not this um, skeleton but more, then you have a more um, full form and you don't have to add too much and to imagine a lot. Now I'll show you the example how I did my main character that I have been developing for over 20 years and you see those forms again here one over another over dots 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 lines here a circle maybe you know me already and this is my DeviantArt uh, page where I showed this um, the not the last but I the last before what I showed um, the last this is him his, uh, his size, his length, his weight everything which you need to know you can uh, read that and you see here muscles muscles ear muscles that's because I know his and uh, his anatomy, and I don't. I do know where every muscle has to be, except this is a little bit strange. But I don't know. I could only make this picture because I use this method with the ovals and with perspective. You see that the legs are in a certain way uh, they are building a rectangle and the vanishing point is somewhere here but we are getting to that later so but to be able to make this you have to make a model sheet and I'll be showing you now how to make a model sheet. Um, the first thing you need to know is um, how your character should look like. If you are making a character, a dog, then you can use references. You should always use references, real life references. So look at the nature, what um, what the bone structures, the how the skeletons are look like and you just take that what you like and make your own creature out of this he's a dragon and I have I don't like it when dragons are more like lizards 
he's more he's a mammal because he has hair and he has a navel so good um so oh uh, by the way i'm using a tablet a, ba a wacom bamboo pen okay. bamboo pen model ctl 470 i'd love i would like to draw on a cintiq like my idol aaron blaze he worked on um he worked to, uh, for over 20 years for Disney. He drew Lion King and he drew uh, um, in the movie M Mulan and the Beauty and the Beast. And he directed Brother Bear. Now he makes tutorials. You should check them out. He's using a Cintiq 27 inch. Uh, remember correctly and from him I'm learning how to draw uh, how to paint realistically but I'm kind of troubling because I'm using two and you see and then you have this finer curves so all right but let's move on here I don't want to bore you with these nonsense good so I start always with a character sheet by uh, the side view and next thing we need to know is the front view so what do we do I need to um, make first a uh, um, uh, line from here. If you're using Krita, then it's important to know what what keys I'm pressing. This was the V key. I I hold it down, so it becomes this line, straight line tool. And if I hit Shift, it um, stays at the, these angles and so you can make straight lines upwards and so and with this I will work most of the time because this is how you're doing model sheets okay damn <laughs> it's important to draw them until it's upper point so the first thing we I want to do is this always start with the, with the body because um, if you're drawing a character in 3d space then don't start with a head because the head can always look in different di directions uh, than the body yeah. start with this and the rest of the body will in most cases follow you can um, you can have the hip of, um, naturally be in a different direction as well but it's not a, not a big that big of a problem if you start with this with the head then you well, it's kind of more difficult, I think. Well, just hit V and then like this. Making just a front view. And this is how you do it. define where this is. So, um, the next thing, the next tool I will show you is the assistant tool. No, I don't want a vanishing one, I want a concentric ellipse. You are using, make a dot here, a dot there, and then you get a circle. Hmm, now just think, hmm, 
how wide should we make it like that and you see here assistant and you can make your cheating begin right now you have this this is our I should have made a different layer for my <laughs> guidelines damn <laughs> okay wait a second just pull this back here and then need to delete wait B shift and drag system off Oops, Let's be careful. Just okay. <laughs> no, not like this. It's a little bit um, difficult to... <laughs> Wait, that's, that actually was correct. This happens to me all the time. And I think this is happening to everyone. To paint on the wrong layer. Um, because we need to shut up best fiends. Yes, I have best fiends and I'm playing this game very often. Um, so... You may be wondering why I'm drawing just a half. Because this is a front view and he is a four-legged four -legged creature. I need to draw this back here as well. So, this is an off again. And then you're using this again. Floop, floop, and narrow. I'm just guessing. I just um, I'm just um, imagine or feel what size would be correct kind of so we have this and we have this now we can use this point here system of layer 11 Wait. <laughs> we're just going I don't know here here now we are defining where the joints may be so I think the joints of his elbow is here and his shoulder is here and now we use V And this is going straight down. This is going straight down. Yeah, so here comes the head, the head. And the same thing. Erase, erase. See. I can erase over that because I'm using different desk. This is not working because it's on the wrong layer thing. Now we are using our legs. So, and I want the 
the the legs start from the hip and then it goes down and hmm, may, maybe a little bit it was no whatever you please you can make the legs straight down or a little bit tilted whatever looks good or feels right and the next would be the head Ooh, this would be fun this is going to be fun because we need to um, This is a circle, and now I will show you a trick. A trick I don't know if Photoshop has. This here. This is a mirror tool. System on and you can see it comes both sides now we have our head here and next would be well hmm let me think the eyes the next would be the eyes right so starting with this, look and this. Um then you uh, oops that is so the circle is still on. <laughs> hmm, the eyes are a little bit big. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it uh, by feel. Oops. Just do it off because the light is um, always in the same direction, but different. Would be, it would look stupid. Um, and then you have that. Now you need to know where the nose is. Oh, damn. I again have it again don't worry cut paste and control e control e damn kidoki uh hmm <laughs> There would be the snout. This would be the start of the nose holes. Let's see if we can pull this off. Um, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. That's correct. Uh, gaze mode. Hmm. Nose holds and it starts the same. That's weird nose. I like that kind of. <laughs> and you have this line here and this line there. <coughs> this is his cheek. Next is the place where his snout will be, and it is also the point here. Mm. 
good minute. Right, this this line here is the same. Now we need the teeth. So where is the... it's a little bit below, so I can probably draw it by myself. And as you can see, the face comes along and looks good. Um, then come these things. And then comes the neck here. I'm just making this quick and easy. If you want to have make it accurate, then you have to um, make it, make everything. So I'm making the horn always this. And the next horn has this height. And the next one is this. So eh, let's see here. This goes below. Or maybe wait. Yes, I know I'm doing those stupid lines again in the same area. Damn. Uh -huh. So this line here. What the headline is? Damn. All right. Don't worry. This is not so terrible as it may seem. Look how fast that went. Right. Here. Here is. Uh, this is the kind of what you are usually doing in order to determine a little bit where your body parts should be. No, that looks silly. <laughs> That's okay. So now that the head is kind of finished, I hope we are need we need to look into where the neck starts. I should save. So as you can see, it's completely totally easy to do, and the farthest. The widest point is this. At uh, this uh, point. Next is we take our our circle here, and we are making our over again. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Kind of system, and then we are going to we should do this without that. And now if we uh, think this out. We can make the system, please. We can define where our neck goes. Right. So next is in if we want to have um, the the legs and the the arms correctly, then we need to 
define this shoulder here. There's our this is the wing shoulder and this is our I don't know shoulder um thing. Draw shoulder then our upper arm lower arm and this goes down other arm and our hand and we want to know where our wing starts this is his size and that now we are damn this is huge <laughs> that's a huge wing yeah of course you, you need to imagine that a uh, dragon needs to hold uh, I his whole body weight with his wings the same th uh, the same just imagine that you need to be able to pull yourself up with your back muscular. If you have a body weight of 80 kilograms, then your back muscle mass is big, so that you can lift you yourself. And this is because this is why this muscle is so big. Maybe I shouldn't make it so big. Maybe I should. Um, well, I don't know. It looks interesting though. Good. Now we make uh, we make the leg. Just define how the, how big the leg is. This is this is the, the hip. Something like this. The butt. Uh, the upper leg. The lower. Like that. Well, in the tail, you can wait a second. Uh, we need to define where the tail starts. Mm. Which was <laughs> Little bit confusing if it's if you have this many. There we go. There was Ned. There was like that. Here and there, and so we need this for the top view. And I will show you how to make a top view right now. So, again, always the same. Now we are deleting everything here. 